cool. I'll be honest, YouTube, my room is a mess. And one of the main reasons is all the freaking cables I've got under my desk. I figured it's about time for my annual cleaning. And you know, you know I'm going to 3D print the solution. That's right, in this week's quick fix, I'm going to design and 3D print some cable ties to manage all these cords. I know, I know, zip ties are cheap. But this is just so much cooler, you know? I get to choose my own colors and add a little bit of style. Give me a break, let me do this. So of course I'm going to open up SolidWorks, my modeling software of choice. And I'll start with a sketch on the top plane. So first I'll create the uh, strap part of the cable tie. And I'll make that 70 millimeters long by 8 millimeters wide. And I'll use another rectangle to start drawing the locking mechanism. This is another one of those designs where I'm kind of just coming up with it as I go. It's simple enough that I hope that will save me time. I'm just going to keep sketching using squares and straight lines. So here I'm making kind of a U-shaped slot and that creates this flap that will grab onto the ridges of the cable tie. I'm just going to go ahead and guesstimate all these dimensions based on what I know. So I want to make sure that the slot here is wider than the strap that is going through it and I want to make sure that there's enough plastic around all these parts so that they're strong enough. So I'll extrude my sketch 1.5 millimeters, which is hopefully thick enough that it won't break, but it'll still be flexible. We're just gonna have to print it and see, but this is the starting point. I put a chamfer on the bottom of this little flap so that the notches will kind of click in easier. And then I'll throw in some fillets where I think they look nice. I'm also going to put a chamfer on the bottom of this cable tie. It's always nice to have a chamfer on the surface that's going to be on the build plate because that makes it a lot easier to pry off your parts. So the last thing we need for this to work are some notches that will catch into the flap. That U-shaped slot has a 1.6 millimeter gap for the 1.5 millimeter strap to go through. So I don't need to make the ridges very tall for them to catch onto that flap. I ended up using notches that were 1.5 millimeters wide and half as tall, so that's 0.75 millimeters high. And then I also gave it 0.75 millimeter fillets, and that makes the notches basically end up as half cylinders, which I think looks nicer than just a straight up rectangle. I put a small fillet on those side edges too for aesthetic purposes. And then I'm going to use the linear pattern tool to create a whole bunch of these ridges down the length of my strap. So I set the notches to be 3 millimeters apart, and that basically makes the space between the notches the same as the width of the notches themselves. And then I'll just eyeball how many of those notches I need, making sure that the very end of that strap doesn't have ridges so that it's a little easier to feed the strap through the lock. And that's it, version 1.0 is ready to print. So in about three minutes, I had a ready-made strap, but as soon as I pulled it off the build plate, I could tell it was just a little bit too stiff. When I tried to bend the strap, it immediately left a little bit of a kink, and as I suspected when I put it to use on a cable, it worked, but it looked like it was about to fall apart. So I went back into SolidWorks to make a few small adjustments that would make a big difference. First I made that strap a little bit longer, because I realized I had some pretty thick bundles of cables that I would have to tie together. And then I brought the thickness of that strap down to 1mm instead of 1.5. And I also adjusted the dimensions of that flap to compensate for the thinner strap. Then I just went through and made some minor adjustments to keep everything as it was. So I threw some more notches on there. And I repaired this little fillet and chamfer that failed when I made the strap thinner. It 
In no time at all, I had another cable tie printed, and this one was a lot more flexible than the first one. And I also made a smaller variation for those smaller bundles of cables. Then it's time for an organizing montage. Well, there you have it. With just a few minutes in SolidWorks and a few more minutes printing, I was able to print a bunch of these nifty bits that helped make my room a whole lot cleaner. Yet another way that 3D printing can be useful for just about anybody. Okay, well that's it for this week. But if you have any comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. I love to hear from you guys. I'm still Devin. This is Still Make Anything. Stay inspired, folks. Until next time. Oh man. I didn't even have time to address the fashion potential behind this design. Am I right? I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong.